Photoshop just introduced a brand new feature called Generative Upscale that allows you to increase the size of your photos without losing quality. In this video, we're going to test it out and see how it works. First, in order to use this feature, you need to have Photoshop Beta installed. To install it, open Creative Cloud, click on Apps on the left side, then go to Beta Apps and select Photoshop Beta. The version you need is 26.10. If you don't see the Update button, just click on the three dots, go to Other Versions, and here you should be able to install version 26.10. Let's start with this first photo. To access Generative Upscale, go to Image, and here you have Generative Upscale. You can also find it by going to Image Size, where there's this text at the bottom that lets you open the Generative Upscale menu. Here you can select the output resolution from this drop-down menu. I'm going to increase it four times. You'll see what the new dimensions are going to be, and once you're ready, click Upscale. Photoshop will process the image and then open a new document with both versions so you can compare the before and after. So here's our upscaled version and this was the original. It didn't fully recreate the face in detail, which is understandable, but it added some more details to the face. Let's move on to the second example. Again, we go to Image and Generative Upscale, set the new dimensions, and click Upscale. After processing, if we zoom in, we can see quite a few artifacts in the upscaled image, just like the previous one. Now let's test a third example, a photo with some motion blur. In the output photo, the artifacts are still present and pretty obvious this time actually, so if you want to reduce some of these artifacts, here's what you can do. Select the upscaled layer, go to Filter, then choose Neural Filters. Inside, you'll find a restoration section with a setting called JPEG Artifacts Removal. Let's go ahead and enable it. Photoshop will process the image and here you can choose the strength of the effect and also at the bottom you have the output layer. I'll leave it on current layer. As you can see, it smooths out those blocky parts. Here's a before and after so you can better see the result. Now let's try to upscale a black and white photo. This one is even lower in quality, and after upscaling, zooming in shows a slight improvement, but not a dramatic one. This feature still performs better than just resizing the image the old way, though. To better understand how this tool compares to the actual image in higher resolution, I'm going to go to rawpixel.com, which if you want to start using to get stock photos, you can sign up in the affiliate link in the description, and I'm going to search for a cityscape photo. I'm looking for something with a lot of background details. Here's a nice one of the New York skyline. I'll download both the low resolution and high resolution versions. Now let's open both of them in Photoshop. On the low res version, I'll apply the generative upscale effect, but here we hit the first limitation. Photoshop only lets you upscale images to a max of 4096 pixels on the longest side. So I'll choose 3x instead and resize it to 3600 by 2400 pixels. Now I'll take the high-resolution original and downscale it to the same dimensions. That way we can compare the two side by side. Now we have three versions, the original small image, the Photoshop upscaled version, and the original high-resolution photo resized down. Comparing them, we can see Photoshop isn't able to fully recreate all the original details, which again is understandable. Overall, this feature it's doing a pretty good job of making the results sharper. What do you guys think of this new feature? Let us know in the comments below. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Visit the Creative Society website for more design resources and music. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.